Hey, my air sign friends, and welcome to my channel. This is your December 17, 2018 love reading. This will not uh, apply to everybody, so if it fits, run with it and have fun. If it doesn't, leave it behind at the door. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was quick. Okay, air signs. You have the Ten of Pentacles and Justice in the Upright. So dealing with family issues um, could be uh, contemplating divorcing um, somebody with the Justice card here in the Upright. Um, dealing with family issues. Four of Pentacles is your um, next card out. The person you are dealing with oh, is the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn female. The next card out is the Knight of Wands in reverse. And the King of Cups in the upright. Your guys' outcome for the day is the Page of Wands. The Eight of Cups and the Page of Swords in the reverse. Your guys' shared energy and overall income, income, overall energy is the Lovers, the Four of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. All right, guys, let's see. So your guys' um, shared energy is there's obviously a choice of whether to move forward in love with somebody or not. There's something that the universe is trying to show you, um, but you're not reciprocating or you're not receiving the message. Um, see in this card how the guy is sitting there with his arms crossed. He's blocking his heart. He's looking at what he has in front of him, but he knows something is missing. In order to be able to receive this cup or see the cup in front of him, he has to open his heart. So right now he's blocking out love. He's blocking out his emotions. Um, and in turn is, is not seeing clearly, uh, the offer of love that is in front of him, not seeing the, uh, and when I say him, I just mean in the card, it can be male or female, but they're not seeing that the angels are putting your soulmate right in front of you. This could be you or your partner. Someone is going to come forward, whether that be you or them and make you a small offer. Um, this may be smaller than what you were hoping for, but right now it's all that can be given. Yeah, there's something that's not being seen here or felt with the heart. They're closed off. Okay, like I said, you guys are dealing with a family issue. Um, 10 is the ending of a cycle, especially when it's right next to the justice. I see a cycle here or um, a, a relationship ending with somebody that you have a family with. Um, somebody that you've been with a long time that you've invested a lot of time in and um, it hasn't been easy to get to this point, but um, the karmic scales are balancing out. Justice will be served in the fair manner and karma is going to be dealt with at that point. This is a karmic relationship that you are dealing with air science. Um, you're you're kind of closed off and um, not expressing your feelings to anybody, whether it be the partner you're leaving or the partner you're going to. Because you're not allowing yourself to feel. You're blocking out your heart to avoid the pain. Um, and in turn, you're not expressing yourself. You're not telling either one how you're feeling or what you're doing. Um, you're just holding on tight for dear life to, um, to your emotions, to what you want to invest in. Um, because honestly, you're not quite sure um, to tell you the truth. You're... Uh, yeah, I do see you moving towards a soulmate or a twin flame. However, the justice card is number 11. Um, and this family situation is coming to an end. 10 is the end of a cycle when it's paired with justice. So it's, it's time to open up those emotions. It's time to allow people in. You've been blocking people out because you didn't want to face the ending of this air science. You've been having a hard time facing the end or walking away. 
because it's something you've invested in for some, for quite a long time, could be 10 years even. Um, but, but, uh, the, it's time to end the karmic relationship that you are coming to an end of. And I do see that happening. Now, the person you're dealing with is a queen of pentacles. Like I said, could be a female, um, earth sign, but it can be male as well. I do see it earth though here because, um, you do have the page in your overall and, uh, and that's the offer. So you could be coming to this person, making this offer, or this person is making it to you. But um, the page is no match for the queen. So either there's a, a large age difference here, or you're going to have to offer a little bit more if you want this person to, um, to move forward into a relationship with you. Because you've been so in and out of their life, so flighty, so... Um, you contact me and then you go days, weeks without answering me, or, um, I'll ask you to do something and you're too busy, but yet when you want to exchange conversation or energy or physical contact with me, I, you expect me to be there. So you're really going to have to, um, if you want to start a relationship with this person, you're really going to have to come in offering more than just this page energy um, because they've been hurt. They've been this in and out energy has been hard for them. They have unconditional love for you, whether this is male or female, they have the love it takes to withstand the test of time. This is unconditional love. This is um, there. They are uh, very clear and, and uh, they know their emotions. They have their emotions in check. They're very well balanced. They know how to le lead life with their heart and yet remain balanced in their mind, body, and soul. So um, this person's just kind of waiting for you to um, come towards them with something that they can count on, something that um, a king and queen would offer each other um, equal. They want to be created equal in this relationship. They want you to put in as much energy as they have been. Because they've been the one that has been nurturing this relationship in this time of separation or in this third party situation. They're the one that has been nurturing and nurturing and nurturing. And it's time for you to give back just as much. Obviously, this um, energy can be vice versa. So um, apply it how it fits. Your outcome. The Page of Wands. The Eight of Cups. And the Page of Swords. A lot of immature energy. This could be children that are involved in the situation. Or a large age difference, like I said. But you got three pages here and two king and queens. So um, you guys have the potential to grow into something a lot larger. This person is going to reach out to you. It could be a fire sign as well. Um, I have air sign here, Libra, Gemini. That's probably you. But um, you're going to receive a message about or from this person letting you know that they are moving forward. They're moving on and leaving this situation of uh of this family dynamics that they were a part of they are walking away from this and moving into a more spiritual uh path they are leading they are leaving this situation that they emotionally invested in but they're emotionally exhausted so they're setting out in search of the two cups it's missing they had a lot of love for this person um there was a lot of love invested but it was always missing something and what it was always missing was that soulmate connection. And that's what they're in search of. So they are heading out down this uh, path toward letting the light of the moon or the divine lead the way. And they are in search of that two of cups. You are the one that uh, holds that cup for them or them to you. Uh, there could be no, there could have been no communication at this, this point. Um, but communication is going to open up. You could have been blocked with this person. Like they had you blocked on social media or from calling them, however, but that block is going to open up and communication is going to, um, start flowing again. Like I said, you're going to receive a message about this person's journey or you to them, but, um, lines of communication are going to open up again. This wasn't easy for them, or this isn't easy for you. Whoever the one that's walking away from this uh, family uh, situation, it's been a long time coming because it looks like nobody was investing. No emotions were being um, exchanged. 
no investment into this relationship was happening. So it was time for this relationship to um, come to an end. Like I said in another reading, um, the, the angels are trying to get soulmates and twin flames together and purging out karmic relationships. And this is Archangel Michael blessing this soulmate connection. Archangel Michael oversees all uh, soulmates and twin flames. So this is here. This uh, choice is being guided by the divine. Romance angels, can I get one card for our air signs for December 17th? Thank you. Separation. So you guys are currently in separation or you will be. Time apart from your partner is needed. Um, I do feel that this you two are already in separation, but they are leaving the situation they're currently at and heading back towards you, opening up lines of communication. But this time apart was needed. Um, you both had different things you had to heal. Both had different situations you had to take care of. And, um, and now it has come to the time where those separations will be closing, where couples will be coming back into union with each other. So um, <clears throat> if that's you uh, that is making the offer, make sure you come towards them with something real, something solid, and something um, big enough to, to make them want to invest back into you. If they are the one coming with a message for you, set your boundaries. Uh don't lower your standards just to get them back into your life. Uh, make sure their offer is enough. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful Monday and I'll see you next time. Love, light, and God bless.